I've got a chart here. A chart here that goes through all of the agencies involved, all of the structure that is created under this bill. It's all being done, of course, in the middle by the Environmental Protection Agency. They're at the center of this. But if we look at all of the different agencies involved, you'll see that we've got the Federal Ed Energy Regulatory Commission involved. We've got the United States Department of Agriculture is going to be involved. The Internal Revenue Service will be engaged in this bill as well. The Department of Treasury. I wish I could tell you what FWS was, but somebody could probably tell me. We have the Commodity Futures Trading Commission uh, that's going to be involved in helping to regulate this. Uh, the National Oceanographic uh, Weather Service, basically. The Department of Health and Human Services is going to be involved in putting this together. How about the Department of State? Play a big role in making sure that we get uh, cleaner air uh, and green energy. We got the Department of Energy, of course, the Department of Labor, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, Bureau of Land Management, all these federal agencies are going to take part in trying to put this bill into action. But that's not all. Not even close. Uh, we've got uh, the Offsets Integrity Advisory Board. We also have the Carbon Market Oversight Interagency Working Group uh, that are going to try to help control who gets these carbon credits uh, and, and who doesn't, uh, how they can be traded and how they can't, and where in the world, where in the world uh, these offsets are going to be. Don't have to be in the United States. We're going to see billions of American tax dollars being shipped around the country, around the world, uh, whether it's replanting forests in other parts of the world, they're going to help clean up our air. I'm sure our constituents want our money being shipped overseas to plant trees. But that's not all. That's not all. Not even close. Uh, we've got the consumer refund, consumer, yeah, refund fund uh, that's going to be outlined here. We've got the International Reserve Allowance uh, Progress here. How about the domestic offset providers? We've got the offset traders and the national offset providers. Oh, we got the Clean Vehicle Technical Advisory Board. We have the Carbon Capture Board. And it goes on and on and on. This elaborate government structure that will cost the American people several trillion dollars over the next 10 years, all in an effort to clean up our air, help build a new alternative energy in industry in the United States, and uh, to help create jobs in our country. I don't believe there are hardly any people in America who believe, who believe that this giant government bureaucracy is going to be able to deliver on the three goals that you outlined. We know, Madam Speaker, that this national energy tax will cost the American people $2 trillion. We know that. We know this was, will result in a loss of 2.5 million jobs every year for the American people. We know that. We know this will result in a reduced standard of living for Americans. We know that. What is the point and what's the benefit? But the, what is worse than this is the fact that now, because of this underlying bill, the federal government will virtually have control over every aspect of lives for the American people. It is time to stand up and say, we get to choose. We choose liberty or we choose tyranny. It's one of the two. The underlying bill represents the tyranny and the intervention of the federal government. Mr. Forbes' amendment represents liberty for the American people. It's our choice. What will we choose today? Will we choose liberty or will we choose tyranny? I choose Mr. Forbes' amendment. I Gentlemen, yield back. time has expired.
you want me to sing now? Okay. 